Good evening, everybody. Welcome to episode number three of the Game Hack Podcast. I'm Dash, and we've got the usual crew with us this evening. We have um, Shady Killer, say hello. Hello, hello. Squat Neville, sound off. Yo. Phantom. <laughs> hello. And we have a guest uh, joining us, our first guest. Uh, well, not count yet, it's, he was on a different episode. Yeah. Um, but this is our first podcast guest. Um, the Gamer Hive's very own White Eagle. Say hello, buddy. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> whoop, whoop. And whoop, this whoop. is um, episode three. We made it to number three. How do you, uh, what do you think about that, guys? Uh, it's pretty cool, but, uh, huh? <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> I can't believe it. And so far, I've got to mean a bit more. I, I, I found out, actually, as well, I did a survey and um of my daughters and uh, we were actually voted the world's best podcast oh what do you think about is. that Ooh. yeah uh, it says everything doesn't it about, the, about our group and community that's it. exactly exactly so white eagle do you want to just give us a little bit of an intro give us a bit of background uh, tell us a bit about yourself bud okay i'll i'll give you the bio okay so <laughs> <laughs> I am White. I am White Eagle, um, aka Alan. To those who know me, um, I am the game level age of thirty-four years old currently. Um, born and bred in Liverpool in the northwest, and I play majority of all my games on PlayStation. Um, to be honest, I have done since a kid. Basically, um, first game I ever played was on the Atari. I want to say the two six hundred. Oh yeah, the Atari two six hundred. I, I remember that. Space Which was Pac Man and all the classics. Cent- yeah, Centipede was the first ever game I yeah. ever played. Um, it, it used to have. You could get that console that had like a wood finish to it. It was like black with a wood it. finish. Yeah, like retro style one. Um, mm. Yeah, um, and yeah, basically since then I've owned everything from a Game Boy, the original one, Game Gear. Commodore 64, yes. Nintendo, NES, and then I think I had the, was it the Sega Genesis Mega Drive? Yeah. Yeah, had that, had the Mega CD, and then obviously PlayStation 1 came around, and Mega since CD. then, I've, have, I've, had every, I've had everything since like PlayStation have brought out since then. Nice. Nice. Hey, you work in the... Um tech industry don't you do you something to do with um testing apps or something like that white eagles that about right yeah so i work in basic um it's a it's a basically qa company um and we're just responsible for testing a couple of applications that people send us and yeah it's it it sounds better it sounds more exciting than what it actually is (laughs) i'm just distracted a little bit because i've noticed neville's Red Dead post is gonna be Pull- <laughs> It's falling down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Oh, oh, that, was no. <laughs> that, that was. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it was good while it lasted. Oh, uh, so, <laughs> so we we made it episode three. There's uh, there's a Who's fair bit to talk one? about. <laughs> Neville's got a new uh, environment. Look, if we can just see, check out uh, his new um, new background office, which is wor- work in progress. Yeah, it's falling apart. I can see games, but I can't quite make out what all the games are. Let me start. Let's go from from left of Neville's screen. Is that first one? Is that Horizon Zero Dawn? Yes. Yeah. It's Paradise um, Burnout. The next one. Burn Paradise Burnout. Yeah. Yes. Burnout, Dirt. Right. Dirt. I can't. I can't say what would be behind yeah. the next one. I can say is. Uh, well, I can't make up what that out. That is next to the podcast. Is that Alien? Sign. It is. Oh. Ah, yeah. there you go. Arkham. Yeah, Arkham. Arkham next. 
Yeah. I don't know what that next one is. Can't work that out. I can't see that one either. Nope. Oh. Too blurry. On the top, Red Dead. The next one, it looks like bloody... Um, the Jumanji. It's Jumanji. Jumanji or something like that. Yeah, it's Jumanji, I think. Up here. Yeah. Hi. You've got Shaun of the Dead. Oh, uh, they Blu-rays. Ah, oh, see, uh, you were uh, throwing uh, us off guard. I thought they were games. Yeah. Go- oh, Goonies. So. Goonies, right. Uh, I, uh... The Exorcist. Mm-hmm. Good. And then the Alien Trilogy. Uh, the trilogy nice. or the quad, quad trilogy? Quad trilogy, quad. quad. It's, got all, it's got all of them. Nice, nice. Yeah. So, White so, Eagle, do you see this, these controllers here? Do you recognise? You make them out in the cups here. Oh, yeah. Um, that. Oh, what the <laughs> hell? I can't think of the name of it. Why is the name fucking on my head? The, 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 the Dreamcast. Gr- Yes. That's the one. Oh my god. You know what? I actually never owned a Dreamcast. It was one of the few consoles I actually never owned. I did. Oh, I had, um, there the... was a racing game that you got on the uh, on the Dreamcast, and uh, it had sort of real time day and night mechanics. So if you put it on at night, all of your, like at six o'clock in the evening, based on or whatever, all your races would be at night. And if you put it on in the, in the daytime, it'd be in the daytime as well. So what game was that oh. called? You earned yeah. kudos Met- points as well, didn't you? Metropolitan like, oh, or something. I can't think of what it was. No, I, rem- no, I, can, I can see, I can see it in my mind what it looks like, but I can't think of the name. But it was a great, one of the few racing games that I actually enjoyed. So, White Eagle, how long have you been with us in the Game of Hive? It must be quite a while now, I think, isn't it? I think, it's, I think it's cracking on to about a year. I think it feels like it's been longer, but honestly, I think it's only about a year. I know you do a fair bit of streaming on um, on the channel. We'll, we'll plug your channel a little bit later on, but um, I think what I've seen is your Formula One streaming. Is that still going? How did you finish in the league? Um, okay, so we just finished season 12. Um, out of 18 drivers, I finished 12th, I think. Um, Not bad. Sounds, it doesn't sound too bad, but then... We had we had like twenty one races. Um, I wasn't the races. It. Last each race lasted like <clears throat> hours or something like that. Um, so what we normally do was we normally do fifty percent. So normally it's about forty five minutes um, with a twenty minutes qualifying session on top. So it's about about an hour per session. Um, but it feels longer when like you're concentrating on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's one of them. I, I had a bit of it's the second year i've done it with the guys i'm running it with and to be honest last year i was sort of a rookie so i was still trying to get used to it and this year i thought i did a bit better but last year i like finished 14th so to finish 14th and then go to 12th like okay i've improved but oh yeah it was just it's one of them i was like i still feel like i let myself down a little bit but to be honest i don't consider myself that great to the game anyway so i was just like okay yeah I'll just because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you must get you must get a buzz out of it, though, and that's the main thing, isn't it? I do, I do. But this was the first season where there were certain races that I built up in my mind. I was looking forward to because I think everybody has like a favorite. I mean, if you like F one games, everyone has a favorite circuit that they enjoy racing at. Um, mm. Personally, for me, my two favorite tracks: are Italy Monza and Spa Belgium. They're like my two favorite tracks. Yeah. Um, and funny enough, um, I built myself up all during the week looking forward to race at Monza. Second corner, one of the guys in front of me crashed into the barrier and then crashed into me, and my race was over just like that. It I was literally, a, it was literally like a bad time I snap. I would find myself wanting to play the game the way I played Grand Theft Auto, though. Do you know what I mean? Having to. Um, <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean? Can I be kind of someone else out there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's, like, it's like a case of okay look there's a corner cover here and only one of us is going to get through it and it's not going to be you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've, got the first, I've got the first F1 sorry yeah, I've sorry. got the first F1 um, which, are you playing on the, the older one or the new version I am on 2018 at the moment um, check the discord <clears throat> Danny who um, was our Fortnite guy has just bought um 28 A and F1. He was looking for players to, to game with. You have to hit him up. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to let them know because I mean, I jump on randomly with the season being over now. Um, I don't think we're racing for about another month, but we sort of had it thrown on top of us today. I don't know if anybody had seen the announcements that like normally F1 games releasing like the August October window, and it's mm-hmm. releasing in June this year, which is like mega early. So I don't know how on earth they've done a turnaround that quick on it, but yeah. So normally we'd get like two full seasons in on each game, but it looks like now we're only going to get like maybe one and a half seasons of racing in before we're going to have to switch games to the new one now. <clears throat> I will jump on soon. I have the game also sitting in my uh, in my drawer. Um, not playing that much. Though. Yeah, you haven't got time. That's the yeah. Problem. There's too many that graphics is- and posters to design, Shady, for God's sake. <laughs> Correct. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at, Neville. You've got eyebrows to shave off at some point during this yes. episode. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. I think we better we better tackle this. I think before we move on to the next item, don't so, we? So While someone... Neville's eating, don't burn your mouth on that hot apple pie from McDonald's. How do you know it was that? <laughs> so the milkshake cup. So the milkshake cup. Oh so someone I mean, so, I mean, that would say so, so destiny. So, someone sent a message to Wonder Woman. We have. Um, we have a ponytail that needs to be cut off, I think, Phantom. Did we agree to that? I can't no, 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 no. That was not agreed upon. <laughs> and we have some eyebrows to, to look at. <laughs> this was definitely not agreed upon. So I'm looking forward to the next podcast to see what, what happens there. It's <laughs> eyebrows or a bald patch, like a monk-style haircut, I think, <laughs> well. Whoa. Whoa. How about getting a tattoo? <laughs> what was that, Shady? How about getting a tattoo? Yeah, you know, I've been wanting to get a tattoo for a long time, so... On the middle of your forehead. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. A, a big, just a big GH here, like, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's um, let, let's um move on. There was, I, I'll be honest here, I'm going to be more of a, a listener and a follower here because I haven't done, I haven't done any homework on this. Uh, the Google announcement that we had this week regarding their... Uh, foray into um competing with the likes of sony and uh microsoft and pc games and stuff like that i think the the gist of it as i understand and you guys will be able to to fill in the blanks i guess is that essentially you were going to use a controller and a tv phone tablet pc whatever you used to connect to the internet to connect to a google server and then play a game stadia yeah, uh, via, via streaming it, a bit like the place, PS Now, is it? Do you call it PS Now? Yep. Where you yeah, can use, yeah. use the PlayStation to to play all games and stuff yeah. like that, and it, essentially it's streaming. Is that right? Yeah, it's streaming. Yeah. Yep. For, for the, what? The, the 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 Google the controller has a separate connection to what your game connection is. Well, so to the, reduce the amount of latency, I've, I've, I've heard a lot about it, but I haven't done any research into it. So does does anybody know a lot? Um, I, I know I've, bits I've and bobs. Some. I'm sorry? I've heard bits and bobs about it. I mean, I know, uh, for example, I think it's the head of the gaming department of Google is Phil Harrison, ex Sony PlayStation. So, by the sounds of it, they're getting people who are obviously very heavily involved in the gaming industry on board with all the tech ideas and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, most of it seems like just numbers at the moment, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You're looking at it and it's all yeah. like numbers and you're looking at them thinking, I don't know how to even compute that in my mind, what the hell that means. Yeah. I, I, quite a lot of happening though, because um, for what I've seen is that uh, Google will come with the first Stadia game studio. Um so they're making their own games. In the ah, future. so they're going to develop their own titles. Because th- this yeah. is one of the things I wasn't <laughs> sure of. If the top titles, the likes of your Call of Duties and, and games like that, um, and Stadia are going to be another platform, they consider themselves a platform, that's right, isn't it? So yep. they're just not a service, yeah. it's going to be a gaming platform. Yep. Yep. Are they going to have to develop the game the same way as Sony would have to have it have it developed for them, are they going to have to pay for the developers to develop for their platform? You so would a, so, would yeah. a publisher are going to put out a game for four platforms? So Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, 
Stadia, or well, wait, five platforms in some cases, and PC. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing it would be a PC port because it's going to be it's going to be run from PC, isn't it? You know. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. It for, just makes me wonder how they're going to handle that in that case. From what I've read, they're, they're giving very little details on everything. Um, the main thing that they're trying to push is how um, they're able to give high quality games to um, areas that um, don't have high quality internet or don't have um, like the money for consoles and stuff. They're basically trying to aim themselves at the lower class, like poor areas of countries um right. like for example they were saying that they can go as low as 25 megabytes per second on 4k graphics um, yeah i think yeah. somebody said if you can watch netflix you can use this gaming service yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty much it which br- brings it down to about seven or eight meg yeah i think a bit more though yeah it, uh, uh, that's that's netflix? that's if you can watch netflix on high quality yeah mm. If anybody wants to see like a really good, by the way, detailed description, sort of like an idiot's guide, because I know I watched it and it actually helped me understand it. Um, get over to Digital Foundry. Um, if anyone knows Digital Foundry, always get hands on with all the new consoles and tech and everything when it comes out. Um, one of the guys actually got to go to Google and like test the Stadia himself. It, yeah, and he's given him he's given like a breakdown in his video of like the pros and cons, sort of, where it worked well for them and where it didn't work well and stuff like that. And it was interesting was it, to listen to. Was it on the Project Stream or already on Stadia? So it was the Project Stream, but he was actually at GDC where right. they were showing it off, and he actually managed to get hands-on there as well. Um, awesome. and, he, and he said he noticed a considerable amount of difference between Project Stream and testing on the actual Stadia itself. Um, I think he mentioned, actually, funny enough, and I know this sounds really weird, he said when he was actually at GDC, he tried testing it, I think, via a... I think it was a MacBook Pro that was using Google Chromecast, and he said there was a tiny bit of latency, but he said it wasn't, he said it wasn't like, anything massively noticeable. But, but then once he got back to his hotel room, he tried it again there with a bunch of other items, and he actually managed to get... He's done, like, a comparison chart with, like... PS4, Stadia, and Xbox One X. So you can see the different levels of latency that he was getting. Yeah. So, so Yeti Hunter is on the, in the stream right now. He says bandwidth will be the biggest issue. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, internet speed also. So the, 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 the limitation will be on your internet connection. Yeah. I, yes. I think they'll iron that out over time. I mean, I don't think it'll, it'll be a huge thing for maybe a year or so. You know what I mean? So, well, I don't know. They're, they're partnering up with some, some radical, big isn't it? It's a bit of a radical idea, you know, that's the thing. It's a way forward, <clears> but <throat> I'm not I'm not a big, like, um, buying stuff through straight, you know, downloading it. I'd rather have the hard copy yeah, of stuff. Hard so it's, copy, going to take, yeah. it's going to take me mm. a while to adjust to it. Yeah. So I like to have something in my hand that I paid, I paid for. I don't yeah, that's always, been my, that's always been my that's always been my argument as well. So it's been a case of, like, you know, I think there's a you know people like to own the digital copy of a game, and some people prefer to have the physical copy of a game. I know personally, if there's a, like a mega super special edition of a game and it comes with like a statue and something like that, I have to have the physical. It, it's got to be, especially if it's something that I really want. But for other games, like F1, for example, I don't necessarily need the physical copy of it. I, okay, yeah, I know if I wanted to trade it in. Then possibly I'm going to need the physical copy of it, but that, nine times out of ten, I'll buy. That's a good point, that because if the, if that's if the in the future there's going to be no such things as discs, they're still going to have to sell special edition ones so people can own these things. Correct. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Another no, thing I heard I heard as well is the controller. Um, you can use any controller that you have in the house. Yep. You know what I mean? And yep. also, if you get an actual controller that they develop, that has a, um, an assistant button on it. So, yep. so if you play in the oh, game, yeah. you speak and you, you press it and speak, I am stuck on so and so. Oh, and it will play a video. All right. I, I send, see you, it's, send no. you a link, an instant link to a guide of how to complete that. Because if you're stuck on a which, boss side, yeah, exactly. You can, you can yeah. at a click of a button, 
But you can also, with that control, you can also broadcast instantly, can't you, by pressing the share button? Yeah. Broadcast to YouTube, but it won't. So you could broadcast. You could only be playing the game at, say, 720p on, on a standard definition or whatever, but you can decide because you're using their tech, you could actually broadcast and stream that game at 4K. Yeah. 60 okay. frames per second, 4K, without really having good. any issues with your own connection. So on yeah. that side of things, that seems pretty clever. That seems pretty good. But it's all going to be about the game lag, isn't it? Because um, it, because it's, it's all going to be sort support. of... Yeah, because well, eSports for things like that, mm -hmm. there's there's obviously going to be some latency yeah. between the controller and your own router going out to the internet. Oh, yeah, of course. Response coming back from the internet and, and the, to their servers. So... It, that's going to be the big thing, or whether this, I guess, is a success or it's going to flop, isn't it? Because I guess the, the, good where, thing the money, where the money, the publicity, and the viewers, and all the rest of it comes from is it comes from it's, um, it's not just that, it's, and streamers. They're, they're saying that obviously you can run this on as little as 25 megabytes per second, but that's if you're running it yourself. If anyone else in the house, say you have your internet for 25 megabyte. If someone yeah, else in their yeah. house streams it, Netflix, it interferes. You haven't got 25 mm -hmm. megabytes anymore. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's, so, aggregated, it's aggregated bandwidth depending on how many people. Yeah. And most people now, if you think, even just now here, I'm I'm connected to me, me phone for Discord at the minute, but the iPad I've got running is connected yeah. to the internet. Alexa's on, constantly there, connected. Yeah. yeah. It's you know, absolutely. it's amazing. Yeah, they take the PlayStation's download and update on for the Division Two. Look at your IP. You probably got about ten different devices connected oh, to your yeah, internet. Yeah, yeah, it's, so. it's great. <clears throat> and on my See, internet, no. it's, uh, it's 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 horrendous. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to PlayStation Five, the console. I'm getting it. So, full stop. Ah, well, yeah. I think uh, this this whole Google Stadia can um, change the the world of gaming, though. In some ways. If oh they, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. If, of course. Okay, okay, gonna do it. if there's correctly. anybody going to do it, who is, it was, it's going to be Google, isn't it? You know, yeah, they have sure. the the, uh, sure. the expertise and the the distribution. You know, yeah. well, they've obviously they've they're, they're got links got to YouTube. Well, Sorry. Well, I mean, they've actually got. I mean, you think about it. Google have actually probably got more money than God as well. So at mm. the end of the day, they can literally push as much money as they want into this project. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Uh, it just depends how far they want to take it and how far they want to... I mean, I thought it was a little scary as well when you were doing like the presentation and then the word 8K got mentioned. Yeah. It was just like, mm -hmm. right, okay, can, can, can we can we stop with the 8K? We're literally only just gotten to the 4K generation. 4K, exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. Isn't it? but it's, they, they, they always say just that, bad. Yeah. So, they always say that technology is always like five years ahead of us and it's just how, yeah. quick, how quick we start to roll that out. So, like, 8K has been invented, it's all there, but yeah. we're all stuck at 4K at the moment because they're still working on that. They don't want to bring that out yet. See, I think it's interesting as well because, obviously, we've got the Stadia and we also sort of know that this year, Xbox are due to release a discless console. So yeah. it's going to be possibly a digital download console only. Right. And I think that's why Sony won't pull the trigger yet with their next console launch because... They want to wait and sort of see how well, the Xbox reaction run. is. Yeah. 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 There's no, sense. there's no point pulling the trigger yet when you're thinking, well, hang on. Our competitors are about to release a, like, a, a, like a no disc console. If people are interested in just only buying digital, this is where we'll see the market for it go. Oh, yeah. How close is the gap between Xbox and PlayStation? Is it close? Uh, or is no, it still, no. It's Play still a wide gap, isn't it? PlayStation's yeah. pretty, pretty far in front of Xbox. Yeah, it's, it's and still I, pretty different. I think they always oh, will be. I don't think so. Mm. Um, but the the new PlayStation 5, they're, I don't know if Xbox going down the same line, but they're looking at going into cross-platform in a big way. Um, yep. to merge with PC players <clears> and <throat> if Microsoft will allow it to merge with uh, Xbox players and I think personally um, it's going to be in the big interest of Xbox and PlayStation to go cross-platform um, yep. look yeah, at yeah. look at Fortnite uh, I think it was like PlayStation refused to go cross-platform and they lost so many sales that Xbox rose in that time and then that's when yeah. Fortnite was just like look you're going to get sales if you go cross-platform on this game it's a big hitting game. People want to play together. No one wants to go out and buy two consoles to play with their friends. 
And, yeah, um, when, do, when do we think the, the next gen, uh, generation of the PlayStation is going to hit us? And is it going to be next year? Is it going to be the year after 2021, do you think? I think it would be mentioned at E3 this year. Do you think? No, 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 no because uh, Sony uh, don't show up at... Uh, no, they're not on E3. E3. Yeah, they're not doing E3. Oh, but, they're not? Uh, same as, same no. as Ubisoft is not coming there. Yeah, they're oh, going to yeah. do some... I think they're going to do their own event. Obviously, they're going to do yeah. PAX, which is... Is that next week? Pax, Pax East. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure Pax that's East. next week, isn't it? Yeah, Pax okay. East this weekend, I think. This weekend. But they, I think they'll do their own their own PR event, or if they've got something serious to talk about, they'll do something for definite. And then I think you'll probably find the likes of Ubisoft or um, Activision, and if any of them are out of jail, um, those guys will be... Um, they'll probably show up at PlayStation's conference rather yeah. than... And I think it's because didn't they say that E3 had become more of a, a like a tourist event rather than a. There, there has been a lot of talk about this. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. more for. Uh, it wasn't. Well, some, it it yeah. wasn't like a trade convention that it always was. It turned into more of a, a publicity a, a publicity event. Yeah. yeah. What I, what I do like about Stadia, they have a couple of um, features in it that's quite unique, I guess. Uh, say like the stream connect, the split screen co op, all streaming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can join, can't you? So you can you can send a request if you're watching somebody who's playing yeah. this online. Send and you've the link got out. Stadia, You can you can send a request to join their game. Yeah, yeah. instantly. Go ahead. Yeah. On, on YouTube, <clears throat> when, you, when you're watching YouTube and, and a game comes up at the end of the game trailer, it says. Play you now. want to play? Yeah. Play now. You know what I mean? Then you press. So they're already they're, they're already yeah. testing this, aren't they? They're testing the demand yeah. for it and stuff like that. Well, what's the time? As he said at the moment, didn't he say they guarantee that you'd be in gameplay by six seconds or something like that? Yeah. yeah. The moment yeah. with the play button, yeah. which is that like that's insane. No loading screens, no downloading, just hit play and no, that's it. Yeah. Well, I think anyway. on that digital foundry video as well. Sorry, uh, before we go on to the next one, I think on that digital foundry video. They actually ran Assassin's Creed Odyssey yeah. next to an Xbox One X. And I think the very first cutscene is like all completed, like the loading screen and run within about, I think, nine seconds. And on the Xbox One X, it was like 25 seconds. Yeah. And it's like, uh, wow. Different. Yeah, well, no, they've got some serious hardware that's running these, though, aren't they? That's the thing. And yeah. Didn't they plan on having like. I don't know how many systems, but there was there, it was running into the tens of thousands of systems, and that we're going to try to, to put out there. So there's always going to be one. Somewhere. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. It's worldwide. Yeah. It's a quite uh, well, not every country though. So no. I, if, uh, like I wouldn't China. mind being a I wouldn't mind being a few euros behind Google though. At this, do you know what I mean? The amount of money no. that they're able uh, to yeah. generate doing this. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Be Commodore sixty four percent. Imagine that. Imagine if if we were loading cassettes for now. Imagine loading a game like Red Dead Redemption two. <laughs> How many cassettes do you think it would take? It would. You'd probably need about for 5,000 tapes to be able to load the game in. <laughs> it'll still crash. <laughs> yeah. It'll, load the it'll, crash it. it'll crash it before it starts. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm, let's move on yeah, to um, some game chat. I know we've talked a little bit about the, ne- the Neville's eyebrows and, and Destiny, but um, not, not a great deal happening on the Destiny front, I think, this week. The, uh, the expansions bedded in people are doing quests and exotic quests and and stuff like that but i think um the divisions has division two has taken a lot of the destiny players and given them something to to get stuck into at the minute yeah i said that the last part because that would happen yeah it is yeah. it and it's what happened the last time the difference being this time is a division two um sorry <laughs> the game, the game launch, has been phenomenal. Yeah. In terms of the quality of the game, the quality of the release, the amount of content that's already there, and the amount of content that they've got planned, which is already developed just to be released, is fantastic. There's yeah, so much amazing. going on. Yeah. Yeah. Is everybody? I know Neville's traded his in for dirt, but um, really, did white, you? White, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't take the heat. I think that's oh. all it was. Oh. What 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 it was was right. 
when I was what it was, getting, was, was. What, what, what it was, 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 was when I was getting in the middle of the fight and I was sticking myself to behind boxes and things like that, the enemy were like going behind us and I was trying to get off the actual boxes or the walls and it wouldn't get off. So they were shooting at us before I could like turn around. Uh-huh. So, that annoyed oh, it, is, so. it is. It's it, it, it. To be honest, you can't. It's not a game where you can run and gun like you can in Call of Duty or even Destiny or anything like that. And it's a game which is better experienced with a team. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Yeah. And then you can people can cover the flanks and stuff like that. And um, White Eagle, you've just picked it up, haven't you? Recently, how far in there? Yeah, I did. Um, I only actually picked it up yesterday. Um, I am. Um, no, um, to be honest, <laughs> basically, a mate of mine actually, uh, it sounds funny, right? A mate of mine actually bought it for her boyfriend, but then she split up with him. <laughs> so, so, so before she sent it to him, she right basically yeah. went, yeah, do you want this? And I went, go on then, yeah, I'll take it. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> was she talking about the game with her boyfriend? Oh, God, no. Definitely <laughs> the game. Definitely the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I have. When am I up to? Um, I've just completed the mission. Um, I think it's like the very first one. We have to save the little girl. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. And you're on the, you're on the top. Yeah, yeah, that's a, a second or the first or second mission to, oh, the, right, after yeah. the theater, isn't it? I think. Yeah, so I'm not all that far into it. I did stop two public ex- executions on my way back to the White House, though, to get my second <laughs> skill. Fair right. enough. And Shady, you're, you've faltered in your progress. You were making good progress, and all of a sudden... I uh, I plan to um, play a lot this week, but uh, <clears throat> my week turns out differently. I have uh, played one night, I guess, and I did some other games than Division 2. My head wasn't to this game now, sadly. It is a good game. It's brilliant. and Like I said, the way the, the enemy flanks around you and stuff like that. It's just not for me. I like things just to get stuck in and that's it. So it just wasn't for me. There's but a lot of secrets. Good. There's a lot of hidden secrets and there's a lot of um, activities which haven't been discovered yet. Do you know what I mean? Which is quite yeah. good. Yeah. I heard yeah. some of you. You told us... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah I've also. had secret objectives and come across people hiding in the... Um, Armed with chainsaws in the sub in the uh, sewers and stuff like that. Oh yeah, it's it's crazy, crazy. absolutely cool. crazy. Cool. Well, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. I'm at level twenty eight. Oh. I've almost hit that level cap. Nice. I start to start where the real work grinding begins. We all love grinding in this, oh, uh, in this group. Especially Neville. For. Neville loves grinding. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's like our duty as gamers, isn't it? We, you know, we're born to grind. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. games, games like Division, Destiny, though, it's all about the grind. Grinds, yeah. yeah. Chasing that gear, that loot, trying to min max all your all your stats on your armor sets and things like that. It's, and I'm sorry to say, <laughs> Anthem as well. Well, Anthem. What's Anthem? On for Anthem here or what? Do, what do we, what's can Anthem? We a, can we just have 30 seconds silence for Anthem, everybody? Yeah. No, because I'm actually still playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'm not sure why I'm playing it, but I'm still playing it. Even though I'm only like, I think I'm like level 12 in it, but I like find myself like going back and doing like two missions and going, and uh, I'm, going, I'm going on to something else. I'd heard a little bit of grief on the um, on the Twitterverse about a patch or patch notes or something that they'd put out where it wasn't met with the best reception for whatever. It, but it sounded on paper, it sounded like they were addressing a lot of the issues. But yeah, for some reason, it, people um, still weren't happy about it. Yeah, if anyone goes onto Reddit, have a look at the Anthem Reddit page for the patch notes. It is full of some comedic comments. Um, <laughs> basically, people saying, like, you know, BioWare should, like, you know, just hang themselves up to dry and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel really sorry for them though, because it's like <sighs> sort of Bioware released Anthem. And now I feel like they've sort of like nearly burned the bridges because we all know that they're making another Dragon Age game. So it's like mm. are people now gonna when they see Dragon Age go? Mm-hmm. Should I? Should I? <laughs> it's like Did you start I mean, these conversations off? 
I just, yeah. I, I just kind of <laughs> would think that Bungie will be like rubbing the hands at all the heat that would they would normally be taking at this stage. Is it's getting yeah. diverted over to Anthem? Mm. Well, know. I heard a really good right idea, and this is from a like friend of mine, right? And he said, "Okay, so Bungie haven't really announced anything massive in the way of content for the next year." So, if they really wanted to keep the fans quiet and give them something to do, why don't they remaster everything from the original Destiny 1? So, you've got your planets that aren't included in Destiny 2, like Mars and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and, the, and the raids, and bring them into Destiny 2. Yeah. Do you know what it is? I think that'll happen. I think it's bound to happen. What I think they might do is, um, if they turn Destiny into a live game rather than a an instalment based type of, of, of game, then that's something that they could easily integrate, isn't it? They could easily pull that content back in. Yeah, and I think it's there's best. a lot of people who played who in the even in the in the communities, there's a lot of Destiny players that didn't even get a, a look in on Destiny One and missed out on some fantastic content. I, oh, I don't yeah, think some of the early raids were awesome. I don't think Destiny should have been a, a Destiny One, Destiny Two, Destiny Three type game. It should have been Destiny is a base game, and then like World of, like World of Warcraft. Yeah, like, it's just yeah. a story that just comes in as like a season, like seasons, and it yeah. just it yeah. should have just developed like that. Because by I splitting that, the game, I think just ruined it. It did, and I think I honestly think that's probably what will come. Yeah, because yeah, of course we've got to find, we've, we've got we've got to wait to see now. Obviously, Bungie have just cut ties with Activision, so. Yep. Now they're going. Now they're going to go their own way. The question is going to be asked: Are they going to stay with this, like the engine they're running at the moment, or are they going to have to build a brand new yeah. engine? For PS3? Yeah, I can't see them doing anything on a, on for PS4 new. I think anything yeah. that gets developed now will be for the next generation of console. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think so. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it makes sense. Actually, yeah. it makes sense. So there was a COD, was there a COD announcement as well? Modern Warfare, which one is it? Is the new, that this year's COD? I think they put out, um, I've seen a tweet that came out. It was confirmed, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. The next installment oh, of Call of yeah. Duty is going to be a Modern Warfare Two? installment. I can't remember what number it is. Is it four? Four's already I been. Modern Warfare 4. I will look it up. I think it is four. I think they didn't announce it. It they... might be, actually. It might be four. Aye, I think it might be four. See, here's but, an interesting um, question. It's an Infinity we... Ward production, though, isn't it? The, 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 yes. This year's COD. Yeah. Didn't they, didn't they even know there, were, there was a new one coming out? That's how interested I am. <laughs> <laughs> Neville's lost all his COD mojo there. He was the uh, warfare king in his day. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, there's an interesting question. <laughs> he was a full-on camper. Right. Go on. <laughs> Do we... Okay. Wait, what, Do Neville? We... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who, who here thinks, right, Last of Us 2, Death Stranding, okay, are they going to be PS5 launch titles, or or do we think that they're going to launch on both? I think it all depends on when PS5 comes out, Yeah. because it, if, think... if PS5 is not going to be for another year or two years, then it's going to come out on PS4, but yeah, otherwise, yep. if it's going to come out maybe the end of this year to early next year, it's going to be a PS5 title. Last of Us Two will be PS4 and it'll be remastered for PS5. That's yeah. my yeah. that's my thought. Okay. That's what they did with the last same one. Is, didn't yeah. they did exactly what they did with the last one. Well, they yeah. did the last when one. it sold really well, didn't it? Last of Us Two remastered sold. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it sold more than the actual game did on the PS3. Well, when the remastered come out, um, it was a uh, a deal with the PS4 when you brought it. It was buy the PS4 and get the remastered with it. So that was a real good deal for the, for Last of Us. If the, if the drag, I can't wait any longer for it. I hope it comes out like June, July, something like that. Yeah, I do. Around, around my birthday on the 29th of June. <laughs> what was yeah. what's the chances the Last of Us would do a video at E three as well? Oh. Or, or will they just not bother? We'll, I think we'll see a reveal at the E3. I'm I'm pretty sure. Who was the developer? Is it not? Is it who is Naughty it? Dog. Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog. Yeah. I think we'll yeah. I think we'll see something from them at, at E3. I hope we will. They, they, they need to start um... revealing it. Yeah, I think when just Last just of some teasers. Out, all of the adverts were on at the cinema. So if you went to the cinema, you always saw Last of Us uh, 
um, advertisement, and it yeah. was quite a big cinema campaign. Yes. I, I just want a teaser, just something, just a little taste. Yeah. Yeah, I think well, there was talk possible. of a movie, was it? Do you remember there was talk of a movie? <sighs> oh, there's not a movie as well, wasn't yeah. it? But yeah, that... Maisie, Maisie no. Williams was was tipped off, and she would she'd agreed to do it to play the role of um, Ellie. The Ellie. Ellie. To play the the role of um, Ellie. There, there's an issue though with doing a film on a game is there's been a lot of criticism on uh, films that are based on games. Yeah. Uh, look at look at Assassin's Creed. Like oh, I re- I really liked the film, but it just didn't work that well. Mm. Due to how Assassin's Creed works, it, you the the work better if they don't take themselves too seriously. Like the Resident yes. Evil films, yeah. did did quite well, didn't they? Because again, they didn't take themselves that seriously. Yeah, you know? Silent Tales was class. Silent I would say, was actually pretty. Cool. I would say the best game to video movie ever done: Super Mario Brothers, without a doubt. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Doom was Bob a good Bob one. Bob, 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 Bob Hoskins, uh, he's gonna Bob, be. Bob, Bob, Hoskins. Hoskins. Bob Hoskins and Super Mario was just Jeez. amazing. And, Doom, oh, come on. Doom was a good one as Doom well. Was... Oh, Doom was good as well. Yeah, Doom was good. Was that with the Rock? <laughs> was he in that? Yeah. Oh, that yeah. was shite. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Oh. We've got we've got the Witcher TV show coming out, haven't we? Actually, the Henry Cavill. No, been, really. It's yeah. been cast. He's yeah, he's right. in it. it yeah. I've seen the first photos of him as a character, yeah. and yeah. It, he looks crazy. He really does. It's just it's very strange to see. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's it's a Netflix show, isn't it? It's Netflix or yep. is it Amazon Prime? Yeah, I yeah. can't remember. But wow. uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna be yeah, that be interesting. Okay, it'd be very interesting if, if Last of Us does come out as a film, like. I'd be interested to watch that, but just be- before we move on, I'm want to find out a little bit more about Apex because I know it's very quiet in the Apex channel lately in the community. Uh, the new season <sighs> came out recently, didn't it? The, yeah, the battle pass was yeah, launched. Does yeah. anybody know one? Is- Shady, you had some some uh, some stuff about that, didn't you? About the battle pass and the character yeah. release and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Octane is new. Uh, indeed, the battle pass, and if you uh, purchase a package, you can get uh, oh, over a hundred uh, things. How much is a battle pass? Hundred things. Yeah, as in uh, what? A hundred things. Yeah, uh, what stickers, type of things? Uh, um, skins. Uh, oh, I think yeah, emblems and stuff like that, isn't it? Uh, stuff like that. Uh, uh, how yeah. much is a battle pass? It's very foreign. It sounds very uh, foreign lady to me. I'm not. Yeah, it's exactly. I believe it's yeah. somewhere around twelve, right? Euros. Twelve euros. That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah. I think, I think what, 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 else, one... what else changed in Apex? Did anything change with the new this new season or the battle pass? Did the map change? Was there any new weapons that had been introduced or anything no, like that? No, not yet. No. 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 I no can change. tell you what level I am, though. Yeah. Go on. Level one hundred and one. <laughs> Kills. With Bloodtown, 504 kills. Headshot, 668. That's what you did last week. Yeah. <laughs> percentage, percentage, 7%, and I'm rank 8,000. Go, go offline and play all Apex. 8,000? Yeah, I've, I've dropped That's pretty good for global ranking, isn't it? That's pretty good, considering that their, good. Their, their player numbers that they've got. Yeah. That's, that's, that's good. pretty good. Yeah. So 7%, that's, that's, that's a global rank, isn't it? 7%, mm-hmm. so... Oh, that's pretty damn good. Shame you don't know more about the game, so you could tell us about it for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it's like. I'm just going around people. <laughs> <clears throat> we were yeah, hoping for like um, a polished review prepared with um, video footage and, uh, and, and stats it's and flash. stuff like that. You run around, you shoot people, and then that's it. Brilliant. Right, let's move on. Yeah. No, it was um, what what what's happening though in in community? I think that there's a few players that are still there plugging away and stuff like that. But I think we we're a little bit quiet in that, and we're going to try to um, revive some, get some plans in place to see what we can do. Neville's going to maybe on a couple of game nights, or maybe on a yeah, something like that's that. what I was thinking. Yeah, a couple of community game nights. Maybe Neville could host a couple. <laughs> So there was one couple is of already planned, or what? What did I miss? Is Killer Candy still playing Apex, or is she switched on the division, or is she? No, the the thing is, is she has a, a new job and she's working. Uh, oh, yeah. So um, 
at the end. Uh, say white eagle day. if you if you sell um, the division two and you can put your money towards the battle pass for the apex and everything and get some new skins. Be able to buy hundred battle passes for that. Do it. <laughs> I did read somewhere somebody did say apparently one of the better things about the battle pass for apex than Fortnite was that. Apparently on Fortnite's Battle Pass, you had to complete most of the challenges within like right. a couple of days or something like that. No. Whereas apparently on, a- apparently on Apex, they give you like a week or something like that. Wrong, wrong. Uh, really? With, 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 <laughs> with Phantom with the knowledge. <laughs> with Fortnite, Fortnite the, the Battle Pass lasts for, um, a, it's, it's roughly two, to f- uh, two months, so about 60 days. Um, okay. There are challenges, but you don't have to do them at all. Um, so to go up, there's a hundred tiers, and you have to earn XP to go up in the tiers. You can get that XP by either killing people, just playing the game quite a lot, or completing the challenges. Um, what you might be referencing to is before season eight started, they gave uh, everybody uh, about a week to week and a half to complete five really easy challenges. If you completed those five challenges, you got the battle pass for free. Um, and that's the first time they brought that out. And everyone thinks that's uh, a competition, obviously, because of Apex. It's to invite people over to Fortnite. Um, uh, but that, that's only a one time thing. That's got nothing. To, that was to earn the battle pass, it wasn't to actually complete the battle pass. Right, okay, yeah, because as I say, it was just somebody said to me, they went, oh yeah, apparently the challenges are a lot easier. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> a rude interruption there from my youngest. <laughs> Come here. She wants to say hello. Yeah, of course. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I pull her off. Dog. Bedtime. Bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Bedtime. <laughs> All this daughter wants to say now, this is... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> right. Hey, go on. Oh, <laughs> <he's cool>. <laughs> <laughs> Best to get that over and done with, otherwise I would have been hovering around there, stomping the feet, walking backwards and forwards. So, I don't think we've got any other game news to cover, have we? In, um, Should we, uh, um, in the world of gaming? I, I do we... want to say quickly one other thing. Um, it, it's not confirmed... But there are suspicions that Fortnite might be um, copying Apex a little. And you know in Apex they've got the... I um, am surprised. No I know. Surprise. You know how in Apex they've got the revival thing? Uh, like oh, the, yeah. the, the box thing that you go up to and you revive a player that's been killed? Yeah, um, yeah. Well, there's been sightings in Fortnite. Like, if you see like a very long distance, you will see like a bus. But when you go over there, it's disappeared. So it's like just little visual things that keep appearing but then disappearing. So people think that uh, Fortnite are trying to slowly bring this in. Whether they do it or not is another matter. That wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me though, but I, I would like to see Fortnite not do it and just have their own original content. <laughs> but yeah. we can only I wait and see. Games should bring in the, the ping thing uh, so you can ping enemies or yeah. stuff like that. That's, that's a great ping, feature. Ping, 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 yeah. Mozambique. Ping it's... Mozambique. Ping Mozambique. Fortnite yeah, brought cool. that in recently and it's actually really, really good. It works so well. Cool. <clears throat> what about um, Battlefield 5? That's something that I noticed this, this week. Didn't they launch their, their BR? Yeah. Um, um, just a I actually I read an article about that the other day saying that they launched their BR but it's gone downhill straight away on launch. Like It didn't oh, do very well. Damn, I've yeah. seen some content though. Some, some guys uh, streaming yeah, no. this. It's uh, uh, yeah, pretty I mean, awesome. Pretty yeah, awesome. I talked think... to um, Mushroom God. He was yeah. streaming some. Yeah, Mushroom was on um, it. Oh, we were on the same. We were watching the same stream. I think White Eagle. He was playing yeah. it. He was. Uh, he wasn't doing too bad. He was getting a few kills on it, but it looked a little more sedate than what Apex is, didn't it? It didn't seem to be as um, is as much activity. I don't know if the map was too big or the, the number of players wasn't well, enough. Battlefield or... always do have big maps, though, don't they? They've always had big maps. Um, yeah. But I, th- I think the issue is if you're going to bring out uh, a Battle Royale mode, you need to have something unique to it. Like, Call of Duty's was pretty unique. Uh, Apex was unique. Fortnite was unique. What's, what's Battlefield bring into it? Like, what makes theirs different? I hope we see that we see the last of this battle royale. To be honest, I think that it's becoming yeah. a bit 
Uh, uh, awesome now. Every, every game to bring out a battle royale mode, I'd be yeah. devastated. But it, w- it won't know until something trumps it. Like before battle royale, it was all zombies. Everything was zombies. Mm. Then it was yeah. aliens, and now it's battle royale. So it's yeah. like as soon as something what's, comes in to trump so, it. What's the, what's the next thing then? Exactly. Exactly. What's the next thing? Maybe Destiny will come with this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd quit. I'd quit Destiny if they brought up a battle royale game. Yeah, yeah. can't imagine. Nah, uh, yeah. yeah, I just want to think of the premise of like landing on one planet and it's like, oh yeah, here's this giant area, and yeah, you have to hunt other guardians down. No, yeah, I'd love no. to see some um, <laughs> different game modes and the likes of Destiny just to make the Gun PvP match. a little bit more. It's like gun game that would be good on Destiny, where you get a different exotic and you work where you way up to the Galahorn or something like that. So would I think pe- that would would people think well. they're copying Call of Duty though? That's so what? Everyone is copying everyone. Yeah. Well, I guess they've, that's they've just all, good. They've all got team deathmatch. They've all got like um, capture the flag modes and, and things like that, haven't they? You know, it's just battle royals, battle royale. Everybody copies everybody, yeah. and I don't think there's anything wrong with that as long as it's for the betterment of a game. And it's got their own unique style. Yeah. 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 So Neville's, Neville's itching to say something that I can see. <laughs> He's poised, he's like a hair trigger. <laughs> no, but we on a, I think we're moving on to a subject which is very close to... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Should Mr. we uh, do Mr. a, a Neville, short, Mr. Neville's, short break? Is this possible? Uh, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. I, uh, it's bloody hot in here, so I need to uh, pull out my uh, Ooh, hoodie. Out with, uh, Go on, uh, then. We'll be back in two minutes. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Right then, so we, we're going to be on to a subject which is one of Neville's, it's close to his heart. Um, there's a couple of people on here who have no right to talk about this stuff because I don't think they were even alive in the 80s, is that right? When were you guys born? Shady, you, you, you youngster, you 80, can't have been born in the 80s. 87? 80, 80? Eighty-seven. You were born in eighty-seven. Yeah. Jesus H. And Phantom, what about you? Uh, A sixty-two. Yeah, get away. (laughs) (laughs) You old wizard. You were born. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to say now. You did tell us on the first episode. Yeah. We are. My attention to detail is pretty poor, so I'm going to say nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. No. Ninety-three. I was going to say that. 93. Yeah. I, 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 that's when I got my first job when I, in 1993. <laughs> as a mechanic. Yeah. Wow. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. It was the worst job <laughs> I've ever had. Right. I so, yeah, wanted... we're going to talk 80s gaming, retro gaming. Just just some um, little things that we used to do in our day. You're either going to find it boring or very funny or very um, <laughs> educational. Can we just ask Neville what what what's your earliest experience of, of a gaming console? Then guys who were born in the nineties, in the late eighties. It was um, I can't remember the system, but it, it had a, a puddle, a little. Um, yeah, I turn that was like um, and it was an Atari Grandstand. I'm sure that's what it was. It had Pong on. Aye, and it was like, but the, the controller had a little dial on it, and you yeah, moved that's the how you you moved the thing up and down. down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had one of those. Shady, what grand, about you? My grandma's house. What did you? What did you have? What's your earliest experience? Like PlayStation Two or something like that? I bet at your age, was it? What the PlayStation Two? What was your <laughs> first experience, Shady, of a of an old your oldest console or your earliest? Yeah, what's a uh, uh, Nintendo? Just a... oh, the NES. The NES, NES yeah. No, NES. See, that's that's modern compared to what we're talking about here. This that's high tech. That was that was. Almost in the realms of Skynet and Nintendo Entertainment <laughs> System compared to the stuff that we talked about. White Eagle, you remember some of the early stuff as well, do you? The um, the early Commodores, Commodore 16s, Commodore 64s. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I I was born in '84. Um, yeah, Atari Atari 2600. Um, grandparents owned well, they owned one. Funny enough, and yeah, I used to go around there and play on it all the time. And I think, yeah, after that, was Commodore 64. Loved my Commodore 64. Yeah, the, cassette, yeah. the, cassette, the cassette tapes, when you basically, guys, 
who don't know, when you put a cassette tape in, in the deck, you had to l- type on the keyboard to load the game to Never. run it. The shady and Phantom might not even know what a cassette is. Yeah, I, I don't. Well, we know what cassettes are. <laughs> I'm only joking, guys. <laughs> so when, when it used to load in, it used to be coloured like lines on the screen, and it used to make like a screeching sound to the TV when it's loading in. And then the, the screen would build up and make a little picture. Do you know what I mean? Or like an 8-bit yeah. picture would load up, didn't it, as the loading yeah, screen? Like that a, was pre- like that was quite pixel. advanced, though, wasn't it? I think that oh, was yeah. quite late in the um, in cassette games that did that. Mm-hmm. I think some of the early games, it didn't even do that. I remember um, I had a Spectrum. Friends had Commodores. I had a Spectrum. And we still, it was a game called Daily Thompson's Decathlon or Daily Thompson's Super Test. I can't remember. But it you took... Bash, you had to bash it, your button. I had a bash your joystick. It took <laughs> it took a count of four hundred and twenty five on the tape player, which it was honestly it seemed forever, and it used to crash at four hundred and twenty one. Right. Do you know what I mean? So I knew at four hundred and twenty five it would load and it would crash yeah. at four hundred and twenty one. You would you would and sit you'd... there stare at the screen for ages and it would crash and you'd have to like mm. rewind it and start it again. So you probably wouldn't get a get a game or something for about two hours. What's your yeah. um, Favorite well, favorite classic game then from from a cassette era. Me. Mm-hmm. The Last Ninja series. They were like um, System Three developed. That's uh, like the, the modern day equivalent would be like um, Ninja Tenchu Gate or, or or even Tomb Raider because it was based on solving puzzles and yeah. mixing with action and stuff like that. It was it was quite good. What about you, White Eagle? But um, what would have been your favourite game from that sort of era? I'm going to go with an old school classic I used to play with, like, my sister all the time, which was Bubble Bobble. Yes, two player, <laughs> that. Bubble. Yep. Two joysticks, Bubble two player, yeah. Yeah, Bubble Bobble, like, yeah, I used absolutely. to play it religiously with my sister, and it was like, I don't think I actually, we ever completed it, because it just got so fast and so hardly thrown. Well, yeah. Do you know what it is? That's why, when you think about it, though, that's why games, those games were so, they had a high replayability, didn't they? Because they were so difficult. Because yeah. you couldn't save, there was no saves on a cassette game. Exactly. Was there, you know, there was nothing, there was no memory cards or anything like that, you just had to play yeah. it till it, till it, till you'd completed it, you know, and you'd end up getting to the same point every single night and have to turn it off and start again from scratch the next day. Yeah. But, do, you remember, um, do you remember games in them days came with gigantic instructions as well? Neither books, yeah. books. Oh, the days when you actually got a manual? What? Yeah, when you got manuals. What's a manual? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> What's a manual? <laughs> what the fuck's this? <laughs> nice, yeah. I mean, do you remember you, 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 you could, we used to rent the games. I hope Durham Library don't listen to this podcast, but we used to rent the games from Durham Library, and it cost like 50 pence to borrow a game for three weeks or whatever it is, you know. Yeah. And because it just come on cassette, you would just copy it. Do you know what I mean? And take it back. <laughs> the amount of games we pirated at that time was unbelievable. Yeah. There was no YouTube. Yeah. There was no internet. Yeah. Our kids were cool. Because our kids yep. equaled social gaming, equaled equal like going to your mate's house to play games. Well, like, was it was it think? just a, a um a audio cassette? Yeah, that's exactly how it loaded in, yeah, just an audio cassette. Yeah, so yeah. and yeah. it could take up to like forty minutes to load a game in at some point. Yes. So you had two decks and you said one play in the other record. Yeah, they were playing record. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how games came on cassette. You used to Jesus. borrow games from people in the street and used to copy them. It was rife, wasn't? Everybody was copying games and stuff like that. It'd come on cassette. It, the games only cost true. like two two euros in in your in your currency, uh, right. shady. Mm-hmm. That it wouldn't be very expensive. No. Yeah. Here's a true story as well. Me and Dash used to go around each other's houses and play like on the Mega Drive or the Commodore sixty four. And we used to talk about online gaming then. Now, if we had the savvy, we had the knowledge to start off online game, and we would we'd be bloody rich as hell by now, wouldn't we? Yeah. The age of the book. Uh, the, the online game in there was um, it was co-op split screen. That was as good as it got, wasn't it? Really, yeah, co-op split yeah. screen. Yeah. Or if you went to an arcade um, where you used to have to put actual coins into an arcade, was, uh, Super Hang On was probably the only one I can uh, think of at the time. We had four bikes that you'd sat on, and you didn't do anything to play. But, I remember. Um, too. 
I remember that there was an X Men arcade game that had four joysticks. Yes, and I remember was, that. <laughs> and there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one as well yes, that had four yes, joysticks. Yes, I remember. Brilliant. Swimming baths, you usually found them arcades in the swimming baths. Aye, you did. Not, not actually double... in the swimming baths, like in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> double, <laughs> double, 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 double Dragon was probably the classic yeah. arcade oh, that dragon. I can remember. Yeah, yeah Double yeah, Dragon was yeah. amazing. Okay, here's a question for everybody. Who remembers Pac-Man? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Right, without, without Googling it, what year did it come out? Yeah, hands in the What's air, doing? guys. <laughs> Don't put that down, Shady. Put that down. Sorry. The original Pac-Man. What it's got, it's got to be the 60s, though, right? No, no way. Think no. of computer systems in the 60s. They were like the size of cars and double-decker buses yeah. in those days. So I think it? somewhere around 88. Yeah, I want to no. say, mm. I want to say 80. I thought it was Bang the... on. Bang on. Really? Uh, yeah, I'd, get, I'd, on guess, I'd guess, I'd guess 79. Mm-hmm. Nice I, I was going to say like the early seventies, but only because Namco weren't didn't exist in the sixties, did they? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, okay then. So do you remember the um the ghosts? Yeah, was, I do. Was, yeah, there was different coloured ghosts, wasn't there? Yeah, ghost. One was red, one was pink, one was cyan. Shady, come on, you oh. remember the ghosts and Pac Man that chased Pac Man around? And one was one was orange. Do you yeah. remember the names? <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll give you a clue. I know one of them. I'm sure one of them was Blinky. Am I right? The red one's Blinky. Uh, I knew one of them was. So what do you, what do you think the pink one is? Um, Pinky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the, what's Cyan? It's like a blue colour. Cyan. 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 Um, uh, think of like what, what's in a pen. Inky. Inky. Yeah. So we have Blinky, Pinky, Pinky Inky, Inky. And what's the last colour? The orange one. Dinky. Orange. Dinky. Who? What? Dink? Dinky. Yeah. Anyone, anyone Dinky. else any, any guesses? I'll just go no. for rhymes. <laughs> no, it's Clyde. Clyde. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I think, do you know, Namco were trolls in them early days, weren't they? They were trolling people with the names of the ghosts and stuff like that. <laughs> Dinky, I Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde. I knew someone would say Dinky. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, to be honest, I miss I miss those early oh. days of gaming. It was yeah, um, yeah. games were fun. <laughs> if the high replayability, so difficult. I think playing games like Echo or the Dolphin. I think still I still believe me and Neville were the um, amongst the first people to complete that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'd we'd completed right. that game, and then like I think a. Two months later in the Sega magazine, I think it was CVG that came out, computer games and videos, or computer video games came out, and saying, oh, solved at last, world's, or some of the, the first ever completion of Echo of the Dolphin. That was like two months after we finished it. Yeah, SAP 64. Aye. Do you not remember that White Eagle? I do. I mean, <sighs> yeah, I remember Zap. I always used to remember Games Master as well. Games Master. Yes. What a, the TV what a show. Zap. Yeah, Zap, Zap was um <laughs> was a print crazy. print publication for the Commodore sixty four shady. Print. It was a, a magazine publication. Yeah, magazines. You didn't have YouTube or anything yeah. like that. And sometimes yeah. you even got a free game on the front of it, didn't you? Like yeah. a crappy yep. Yep. game. Cassette, cassette, I. Remember when PlayStation? Remember when PlayStation did their like PlayStation magazine and you used to get like a demo disc with like sixteen mm-hmm. demos on it and stuff? Yeah. Phantom, you should have been all over this because that, that's the, the forefathers of the uh, modern PC gamer now is the Commodore 64 and the Spectrum 128K. How many how many K games was the Commodore was the uh, some of the earlier games were like only like four four K games and stuff like that, weren't they? Like some you know, of the... think about it, I'm only new to PC gaming though. I've only been mm-hmm. PC gaming for the past five years. I was a PlayStation new five years for yeah, God's sake. I was a, always a PlayStation. <laughs> I can, before then. I can become a doctor in five years, can't you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's different. It's different. <laughs> this, is mo- this is the modern gaming. Like, what you think when I started gaming, but it was all what? mainly PlayStation. In modern PC games, can't you sort of mod games? There's there's mod platforms, isn't there, to add in your own things yeah. and, and, and stuff like that. Where you, you could do that on the Commodore 64. They were called Orc. 
and you used to have to type in a program, didn't you? And it could be like pages long. <laughs> yeah, to put yeah. Put in this cheat. So it, it was called a pork. It was a pro. It used to be like um, I can't even think of what the program language would would, would have been called in those days. It was like number one could be print such and such. Number two, it was a line program when you key in these commands. When and you um, could spend, you, you could put in like ten thousand characters to get a cheat to give you an extra five lives or something like that. It was crazy. When I had uh, my PS2, um, they used to sell CDs with uh cheats on them and that was the only way you could put cheats in the game so i would have to because obviously on the ps2 you had the memory card didn't you you'd put in the cheat cd you would select what cheat you wanted it would save it to the memory card you take that cd out put the game in that you wanted the cheats to go on and then when you load up the game the cheats were on the memory card that loaded on, on that game was that called instant replay probably probably uh... I do, rem- I do remember one that was like that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Dash, you've lagged out big time. Jeez. It's your phone uh, guy. It was not the Discord chat. Oh, yeah. he's back now. Dash is back now. Um, but yeah, that was. I remember mm-hmm. that's what you had to do for PS2. You had to get a, get a cheat CD, a whole separate CD for it. Um, yeah, for for one cheat, or can you do more? No, no, no. It had it had like it'd be like uh fifty different games like with cheats kind of thing. Right. Like it depends on how much you paid was how many different kind of games and cheats there were on the CD. Like it was like nowadays you could get probably like a CD with like four games on it or something. But then it was just like this is twenty five different cheats on one game. Yeah. Excellent stuff, though. Right, yep. let's move no, on. Yeah. Let's move on. What's happening in the community, guys? Anything new? The uh, um, Destiny event finished. Yeah. Uh, who won? In the league. Who won? Um, Mini Junus. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay. He, uh, he was the only one who managed to do um, every challenge on there. He, he runs with a crew, so he was able to do the raid and things like that. Uh, yeah. Nice, um, nice. Let me bring it up was the quite videos. hard though for me, as in uh, I, I haven't played Destiny for a while, and then yeah. all these challenges quite hard, yeah. quite hard. No, it was um, it was um, it was fun. It was a good event. It was a good event. Dash yep. came yeah. second. Who was that? Excellent dude is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tubman came third. Mushroom was behind. Then Kamikaze, and believe it or not, Shady Killer was mid table in Destiny. So. After the second month's now um, uh, a game, who is in in the lead from both games put together? So the overall game of lead. Junius, because of the amount of points he was able to to um, to obtain in Destiny, yeah. in Destiny he, he got maximum points on every single event in that game. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, and after I think that, I'm, I'm second, am I? Yep. Yep. Correct. Travis, you can't, I can't win this, guys. Come on. <laughs> You're doing pretty good, though. Well, it, it will ca- it'll be catch up next one because it's Call of Duty. I haven't got a clue. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so there'll be some details announced. If, if anybody missed our small talk episode that we did um, last week, last we week. announced um, with Jitters the... Um, the April event will be Call of Duty based across Black Ops 4, World War 2, and Modern Warfare Remastered. Yeah. Uh, lots of different game awards. Loads for everybody to do. So a good, another excellent chance to get some points on the board. While, while you're mentioning um, those games, Dash, I'm going to mention now, considering you said Remastered, Remastered is this month's free game on PlayStation. So yep, if you download. haven't downloaded it yet, download it because that's, yep. like Dash has said, it's going to be the challenges for next month. Yeah, yeah, be smart to download it. But we but there'll be announcement that'll be getting put out, I guess, and come out on the weekend. Yeah, um, I'll speak to Jitters to see if we can get that pushed out. Um, we had another featured member, didn't we? Yeah, we, we did. We did. I didn't, no, Who was it? Again? I don't know. Is it worth reading? I don't know. Was, <laughs> does anybody want to read this? It is a quite yeah. long one, though. Now, never. Uh, you, you've, got, you've got the voice for that one. Does anybody? That's true. 
Come on, I, Mr. Neville. I I heard he's a really good chap. I heard he's a really good chap. He is. He's an excellent. <laughs> <guy>. <laughs> Neville, are you able to do this? He, he's pretending he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't. No, he's not there. Anyway, <laughs> this month's featured member, check it out. Brilliant. Right, let's move on. Yeah, so I'm only kidding. Me. I'm only kidding. Phantom is this. I'm not <laughs> yeah. going to read it all. Check the Discord. Check the Reddit. Um, shall I, uh, check the shall, uh, website. Shall I read the first uh, first? Yeah, give us, <laughs> um, give us an, yeah. Uh, like an, an abridged version, Shady, if you can. I'll try my best. Uh, here it goes. Uh, so it's Phantom. Uh, great job. Yo, guys, yeah, it's a friendly member of Phantom here. If you want to hear my lushness voice to hear about me i speak a little about myself on the gamer hive podcast there we are whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Uh, but for those who haven't seen heard it yet let me um into a little bit of my life um so my real name is luke i didn't know that <laughs> Um, but please call me phantom when i'm playing games my real name feels weird i'm 25 years old and i um, have the best birth date ever as in 28th december is it the best no i would disagree with that it is because i don't like celebrate my birthday so everyone forgets about it so it's perfect for me oh, right. <laughs> oh hello <laughs> Um, I'm from the UK, <laughs> born in London, but now live in south of London. Gaming for me started instantly. My dad played simple games like Mario and old SNES games. My brother was into gaming a lot, so we started on an old Atari system. I can't remember which. We played the SNES and the NES. We played the Nintendo 64, and then eventually we got the PS1. There's a lot more to read, though. Yeah, it's... don't don't spoil it yeah. all. We want people to to <laughs> check out Phantom's profile, check out his um his piece on on the Reddit yep. or in on the website. It's on the website, website. live now, I think. Yep. The featured member. Yep. Yeah, it's live. And there's, there's a lot more to find out about him. Check out his stats. So check yep. check it out. Uh, and should... from what I know of, there's supposed to be a meme coming soon with my face on it as well. So yeah, that'll be right. <laughs> from, from the um, Mr. Khan. Yes. Yeah. Is anybody, is anybody liking these memes? Or... Oh, I love them, mate. I love them. And we're cool. considering their original content to us themselves. Article 13 won't affect them. No, we're not. No. Come on. We want to at least keep our we want to keep our one viewer. <laughs> so I think um, yeah. So the um, we we there's a little bit happening. I think um, we we everybody's concentrating on the new games that have just been released, and people are, a lot of people grinding Division Two, right. and the Division Two channels are doing huge at the minute. Clan spaces are filling up very quickly. White Eagle, you've got your invite. It's in there. It's waiting for you to accept it. Am I still in the clan? No, we kicked you straight away. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you got rid of the game, you were gone. <laughs> so, no. So, But we expect, I think, on next week's episode, we should be able to uh, talk about it a little bit more. We have some bonus uh, Gamer Hive League events planned. Um, and we'll see how Neville's our office has transformed even more between now and then, then as well. I've got to put um, some page three pictures up here. We've got a here. we've got a special thing to do though now, haven't we? Um, Shady's promised that we'd all be fluent in Dutch by the time we get the episode. Ooh, one, fluent. So what episode one hundred and one? We'll be fluent yeah. in Dutch. <laughs> awesome. well, Sounds good to me though. But um, I'm trying my best. Though. So let, let's let's have a. What are we going to learn? What are we <laughs> going to learn in our first learn Dutch with Shady? Well, I thought um, it would be nice if we can promote this uh, this podcast a little, right? Um, so if we can all say, um, he's going to have another say in anything. Here. It's not even going to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say it first, and you can try. We'll see. Okay. Um, this is the best podcast ter wereld. 
Well, you've just made that up. Come on. Yeah, go a bit, a bit at a time. Bit at a time. You've just said it is the best podcast. Something. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, in, that's English, but we only speak English. This, this is <laughs> the what? best podcast ter wereld. I'm gonna need it once more. Do yeah. it first. Do the first bit. What is the first? Yeah, word? break it down. So, 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 this is. This is. This is. This is. What? This is. Yeah, exactly. This is. This is. This is. This is. That is the beste. The beste, the beste podcast. Podcast. Ter wereld. Ter wereld. Ter wereld. Ter wereld. The best podcast. This is. The best yeah. podcast, the world. The world. You should be the best podcast in the world. The world. You write it down for me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you like channel and gold member there? That's all I can hear. Yeah, you did a pretty good one. She, she, she's, she's a lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then. Let's let's have it once more. Let's have it once more. This, this is the best podcast in the world. This is the best podcast in the world. Pretty good. Mm. Pretty good. Awesome. Does that mean this is the best podcast in the world? Exactly. Uh, it just sounded uh, English to me. Didn't yeah. It? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very similar. Very similar. It is. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah. Go ahead, Neville. Let's have it once more because you've got this down. Yeah. Exactly. Go on, gold member. This is the best podcast in the world. This is the best cost. <laughs> this I is, can't even say is podcast. Is it this is? This is. This is. This is. This is. This is. This is. This The best podcast. The best podcast in the world. The best podcast in the world. The world. The world. The world. The world. The Ten world. Yeah. I can't do that. Ten world. Ten world. Yeah. Why, Eagle? Can you teach us any scouts? Oh, <laughs> um, okay. So the the one everybody seems to use, like comedians, is always chicken and a can of coke. 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 Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think if you want to do want to see a funny version of it, YouTube Harry Enfield Scouse Alphabet. Ah, oh, of course, Harry. I, I can't I can't that, man. I what the fuck? Yeah. Shady, <laughs> shady, shady, say why I man? Why I man? <laughs> 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 What did, what did I just say? It says hello there, chat. Uh, hello there. <laughs> right. Uh, Whereabouts in uh, Scoutsland are you from, then, uh, White Eagle? Whereabouts? I am born and a bred um, little place called Old Swan. Um, about 15 minutes from the town centre. I did, I did a little bit of work, actually, in one of my previous jobs in Liverpool. Um, I worked around um, near where the airport is, I think it's called Speak. Oh yeah, up and speak. Yeah, uh, and it was a bit rough, to be fair, from what I remember. <laughs> yeah, speak is a yeah, speak's a bit of a rough area up that way. But uh, no, I enjoyed my time there. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm literally about a fifteen minute bus ride. Um, yeah. <sighs> Did you ever it's go a... and see Richard and Judy film this? I never oh, watched jump, them. Jump on that big giant weather map. Do you remember the big giant weather map? Oh, Fred, Fred the Weatherman. Um, <laughs> no, do you know what? I never went and watched it live. I, I, I remember going down there when the map used to be there, but obviously that's all gone now. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. But, yeah, I, that God, yeah, I remember that. Well, Shady, what we learn learning next, uh, next time, then? Is I, it going to be in more podcast-related stuff? or? No, I don't think so. It will be something funny. <laughs> It'll be something. That, yeah, it's going to be something. I want to learn. Good. I want to learn swear words so I can use them. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> wants to learn swear words. Still the same yeah. I, you my want, my brother was in the army, and he used to teach me all of the um, how to ask for rude things in different languages and stuff like that. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm not just going to repeat them this. because we've got quite a global, yeah. uh, we've got a global community, yeah. so it might, it might offend some people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's be French or be German. But um, no, it was good. So I, I why, why you, they go where? One go on, simple then. swear word. It's, go on. Like, it's a very geeky one, but it's it's pretty much uh, used here. Um, it's suckle. 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 Sounds like circle. Circle, but what, without the, the L or the R, sorry. Oh, circle. Suckle. 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 It's something like a, a dumbass. Or... Oh, right. uh, so okay. Cool. So cool. Gonna use that all day tomorrow to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you wait and people sweat? Wait and people find your um, Twitch channel. Do you want to give that a, a, a shout out, Ren? Well, I was okay. thinking this. Uh, on, lot, then, uh, we should do a maybe a special soon. With some streaming guys here. A special stream? No. Oh. We have a lot of streamers in our um, uh, in our community, and I think we should give them some some love. Yeah, it's funny you should say that. It's almost like you've read my post that I put in Where? that particular channel. Lovers in the air. You know, these, these <laughs> things um, <laughs> are quite cleverly planned. I can't remember when anyway, White Eagle, White Eagle might help us out here. We did look at. Um, having a streamer focus where every few weeks or whatever it is which we commit as a community to support an individual in their yeah. streaming endeavors whether it's some followers or views or um, doing some media posts for them on our website or facebook or instagram stuff like that maybe um we look at putting together a joint branded um graphic for them to put out to try to promote or something like that once a month Sounds good. Yeah, just so we can bring a little bit of focus to um, yeah. um, the likes of White Eagle, who uh, regularly streams, and he streams at um at a. I often see your streams in the morning. I think at UK time. Yeah, normally if I'm streaming, I'll normally be on when I'm off work, so it's normally between like nine a.m. till about one p.m. And I'll maybe take a break and jump back on in the afternoon. And what's the channel then? Is it okay, just, so it's just White Eagle, is it or? So on Twitch, it's White Eagle UK. Um, right. And then normally what I'll do is, is, if I think it's worth it, I'll export it over to YouTube as well. And I think on YouTube, it's just White Eagle. Cool. So will this break be a pot noodle and a packet of crisps and an energy drink and then straight back on in about 10 minutes? Well, for the podcast? No. White Eagle's break before he goes, he starts gaming again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I was wondering that. Um, <laughs> no. That's, a cut. That's what it'll be. <laughs> it'll, probably, it'll probably be. Um, probably be. No, probably. Actually, what time is it? It's okay. Quarter to nine. So it's going to be yeah, well over time here. <laughs> probably grab a. Probably grab a quick drink. Gra- grab a wagon wheel, and then I think I'm going to go and watch Big Bang Theory in Shelton. A wagon wheel. <laughs> what, what is wagon wheel? Oh, wagon wheel. Chocolate covered biscuit with a. The biscuit was uh, what flavor was like? Um, the flavor it's biscuit was quite unusual, wasn't it? Marshmallow was it? Yeah, Joe Marshmallow. Is, with, did he have marshmallow? Yeah, sure. Yeah, marshmallow covered with jam, with, with jam, and all, all yeah. of it's coated in chocolate. And when we were kids, they were huge. They were that big. They were, they were that big. You, you got yeah, two. You got you, got, you got red ones and you got blue ones. One with jam, yeah. one without jam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I remember having yeah, that on my pad lunch. I'm going to bring get some wagon wheels for the next. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to do a a live taste test of a wagon wheel. Yeah. Are good. you going to send me some? Some I'll wheels. try. I'll try to send you some if I can. Well, I'll try to send you. I was going to say, what, wagon wheel in the what if we all brought like uh, a couple of sweets each uh, off like our own like favorite ones, whether they're childhood ones or local mm. ones, mm. and we could talk about them on. Yeah, like, yeah, we'll do that. Cool. I like the sound of that. Shady could That's have his good. local ones. And... Anyway, guys, let's sure. wrap it up. I think we're about 
25 minutes over time, I believe. Uh, before we before we go, I've got like three questions for Mar. Come on then. Three. Come on. So um, I've got one. This is literally my favorite part of the show. I've got yeah. one for night. Uh, I quite like this one. Maybe um, ask if you're stuck on a desert island and you can take one thing. What would you take? Um, is this a PG rated podcast or is it uh... be whatever you want <laughs> um, no, I'll press... Mrs. Dash will be in in a minute so let's keep it um, let's have a think I'd probably take um, a helicopter so I could leave the desert <laughs> good idea good Mom. idea uh, Shady Quite easy. Something to smoke. Makes sense. <laughs> Neville? Uh, probably some Vaseline. <laughs> Just stop all this chafing with the sand. <laughs> <laughs> White uh, Eagle? Oh, um, I'm gonna say MP3 player. Oh. Okay. An MP3 nice. player? White Eagle's gone functional. He's gone functional there. I was gonna say an MP3 player is pretty old school as well. Yeah, um, like an iPod Classic. Yeah. Back, no, I'll go the back. I'll, I'll take a mini display. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, me personally, um, I'd probably take some Chinese. You'd need a um, a lorry Chinese load of iPod. batteries as well. <laughs> no. all, all of China? <laughs> yeah, all, all, of all of China. Yeah, of course. Why not? A bit crowded, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, Come on, what else have we got? Okay, next one. Angry Scotsman. Should the Gamer Hive have a mascot? Oof. We have, it's Neville. <laughs> but we kind of have it, it's the bee, isn't it? It's the wasp. Lord. The yeah. wasp. I suppose, I, I think he means like if we could get like a physical like yeah. mascot. Um, there's an idea for a future competition now. Name the mascot. See, I don't see yeah. that the Gamer Hive is a bee related thing. I don't know why. I've always seen it as more of a, I don't why know. Don't, well, why don't we all, us, shave the hair off our bodies and then just match oh, together oh. to form something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I, I, I'm <laughs> good. I'm good. Oh, God. <laughs> You're going to make it start with your eyebrows. Not like a <laughs> um, cool, Have we got any more? Yeah, last one. All-time favourite console. Ah, uh, It's easy for me. PlayStation 1. Ooh. Commodore 64. I think mine would be the Nintendo 64. Game Boy. Game Boy. Which one? The old one. Oh, the original. It's got to be um, the Sony PlayStation original. Yeah, Resident one. Evil, Tekken, Tomb Raider. To- so many games that you wouldn't have played. I re- mm. recently turned my phone into a Game Boy, and I've been playing Pokemon on it. Ah, oh, awesome. Pokemon. Kamikaze's got one here. Your funniest gaming moment. That's, that takes Kamikaze, for God's sake. That's going to take effort and thought. Um, anybody got one off the top of their head? Funniest gaming moment? Uh... I think what one of mine is a Destiny 1 raid where we had to do a shot every time you died. Or your, or your team wiped. Oh, kind of take yeah. Yeah. Two yeah, I've done that. I've done that. That, that ended and, badly. Um, <laughs> yeah. the, another one would be Neville falling asleep, waiting for me, trying to catch up with them in the division. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> talking away for ages, and I'm getting no response other than his snores. I thought he was taking the piss. But, uh, <laughs> it's mind. true. It's true. Uh, I can't think of mine. No. Well, we'll think of them for next time. We'll have yeah. Kamikaze. Yeah. We'll have these answers next time. Do you know what, mate? They're going to be absolutely fantastic because Phantom and Shady and Neville will have two weeks to think about their funniest gaming moments. So, yeah. everybody, be prepared for some fantastic stories. Yeah. And no pressure, yeah. No yeah. pressure guys. <laughs> uh, um, but, ah, I know uh, mine you. already. I know mine already. Come on, then. Come on, then. Do you know just the the challenge? Shady's uh... determined to keep me on this bloody podcast. Fuck <laughs> 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 It was the, the challenge, I guess, I had with uh, uh, with Joyce. 
Oh, the um, sleeping on the couch challenge. Oh, the couch challenge. Yep. Oh, that yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. We. I think we need another one of them. Fantastic. Yeah. That. I really want. To, I really enjoyed that. I think we should try to come up with something. Actually, speaking of that, quickly, we are planning um, a founders and leaders versus members cod competition or cod match, aren't we? So we need to assemble our team for that. Yep. Um, pretty soon, we're going to try to stream that. So we'll we'll put out a little bit of publicity and a little bit of um, a little bit of buzz about that. That no, sounds good. And I Neville, think um, Neville is stretching already. I'm going to download. We'll have to we'll have to have a conference, guys, and decide which cod it's going to be. Not black. Yeah. It's going to yep. have to be World War Two, I think. Ah, uh, yeah. If I've, still sure. got it. if I've still got it. Yeah, somewhere. But that will be a lot of fun. I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Sounds good. And uh, we'll see who we can. We'll see if we can get a couple of teams going and get a couple of members' teams as well. Eh? Yep. Yep. I think the only thing I, I can say about that is uh, the members are going down. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yes. Fully agree. Especially Silent Hell. Oh, he's toast. He is toast big yeah. time. Ah, I, I, um, did you see the picture I was above him, actually, in the cock match just a week ago? Ah, oh, right. Yeah. I didn't see that. But post it in, in, the, um, in, the, in one of the channels and we'll, we'll, all re- we'll troll him a little bit. We'll repost it. <laughs> he's, losing his touch. he's losing his touch, man. I need to see. Where's it at? The scrapbook. Uh, uh, no, I believe in some God channel, general chat, I guess. Ah, okay. You're going to need to put it in one of the general chat, Shady, so we can troll our good friend Silent. <laughs> but no, it's um, it's been a good, it's been a busy couple of weeks with the event and Destiny event. So I, I want to say thank you to everybody who took part. Yeah. And um, farewell to the eyebrows for everybody who did. I've um, still got mine. You've still got yours. White Eagle, thank you very much for coming on and being our, yes, our, thank you our very guest. Much. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. No worries. no worries anytime, guys. And we'll um, we'll wrap it up there, guys. Eh? Well, yeah, it's a- maybe it's good to, to notice that um, if you're watching, please uh, like, share our podcast and uh, subscribe to this channel. But also know that we are on um, Spotify as well. So ah, I forgot about Spotify. Yeah, a good yeah. If, you, if you're a Spotify that. user, search. For game are we still pending on iTunes? Or are we live on iTunes? Uh, I have a few weeks for that. So it just takes a few weeks. So it pending, take a yeah. weeks. Yeah. Future episode should be a lot quicker though. Once we get that first one on, then and future one should be good. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Anybody got anything else you want to um, add? Before we say farewell. If you, if you. Mm. If you're after some Gamer Hive merch, head over to our website. What's the yeah. link? <laughs> it's uh, thegamerhive.com slash shop. Yep. Which you have you'll find uh, on, you, on YouTube, you'll find in the description below. Well, perfect. Awesome. Nice one, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. And we yeah. will catch you all Bye. next time. See ya. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> boom boom. Have you stopped? No, you just yep. appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>